Hi, it's Gary Sims here from Andrew Authority. We're spending a few days with Arm in London, and I'm speaking to Mike Filippo, the lead architect of the Cortex A72 processor. Mike, Arm recently released the information about the Cortex A72, and I know you've spent a couple of days explaining some of the features. Tell us a bit about the new processor. So uh, with, the, with the Cortex A72, we really had... Uh, there were three major, major uh, themes that we were looking for in that design. So one was pushing the performance to the next generation that people expect in, you know, in, in the, next, the next series of phones and mobile products. The other one was pulling the power down significantly so that we can enable you know, really sustained maximum frequency uh, performance on those products. And finally, we did a lot of work to pull the area out of the design, again, contributing to reduction in power, but also making it enabling uh, lower, lower cost designs as well. So really, it was, a, it, was a, it was an iteration of the A57, reducing the die size, increasing the performance. It was, it was. I agree. I, I don't want to oversimplify, uh, you know, oversimplify what we actually did there. You're right. It was, it was a pretty reasonably large-scale derivative of the A57. Uh, again, you know, looking at, at uh, power improvements, sorry, performance improvements ranging from upwards to 60% down to approaching 20% on the perf side. Uh, power reductions range from anywhere from you know approaching 20% to 45% depending on the workloads and then area reduction pretty large scale area reduction as well so you're right it was a a it was a, the baseline was was a57 but it was a pretty reasonably sized derivative uh, project and all that IP is now with your partners and I know we've seen some silicon and so 2016 we can expect to see some some chips with this processors with this kind of uh, technology yes that's correct a72 you'll be seeing parts in in 16 if not earlier yeah and maybe some flagship devices we hope will we'll pick that up I, in, in 2016 yeah I expect that there will be that's what, that's what we'll be looking for yes well, that's great. Certainly, certainly you know the the part being Really a generational leap or generational movement from A57 will enable those types of devices. That's great. Well, thanks very much for your time, Mike. I'm Gary Sims reporting from London. Have a nice day.